Hey guys, welcome back to Closet MTG. And today guys, well, got a little bit of a different video. I know I've been saying recently, I've been wanting to do more um, investing in Magic the Gathering videos. Um, so we're gonna kick off or try to reinvigorate that series that I've started um, with going back to revised guys. Um, and what you see here, essentially, these are some some cards um, and also a sealed product investment that I've purchased within the past six months um, online. And uh, just in general, uh, with regards to revised, um, really the barometer of determining how like the reserve list and like the market is doing in general from a, um, a uh, investing perspective um, in terms of the reserve list can be based off of how revised dual, like, dual lands essentially are doing. Um, and a lot of these duels, as you can see here, um, I mean, some of them are, they're graded. I mean, the reason I purchased the graded is when I'm purchasing online, I just like, you know, I want to make sure I'm getting like an actual, a real dual land. Um, so more often than not, I'll try to purchase something that's already graded, even though like, again, the grading is not the greatest here, a five, five or like a six, but at least I know the card is real and I can use it. I mean, I can, I, I could potentially break out or, um, to break one of these out and use it in like an EDH deck and so forth. I know I'm getting a real card. It's not just a raw card, even though I may need to pay a little bit more. At least I know what I'm getting is, is real because you are paying, I mean, a good amount. I mean, these actually, I mean, for the most part, like these are the prices that I actually did pay. I mean, I think I did a video recently where um, I did I did mention I paid 600 for this uh, underground. See, I did confirm that it is real before purchasing it. And same with the Tundra. Um, there's again, there's some checks you can do looking at like the little green dot um, to see if there's the the four little red dots within the green dot under magnification. I think I can definitely leave the link uh, to that video where I describe how to determine if your if your old card is real and so forth. But you're if you're investing so much in these, if you're paying so much in these cards, obviously you want to make sure that what you're getting is real and not some some knockoff and so and so forth. So um, that's just my take. I mean, if you have I guess a, a little extra capital, um, it makes a little bit, it makes more sense to make sure you're going to get like a real card or you're buying from a reputable source. And it's tough nowadays to, to do that online. Um, so usually I'll buy at a local game store and just confirm or validate before I make the transaction that the card is real. If not, if I am buying online, I will be buying, I'll try to buy something that's already graded, even though if in the end I plan on using it in an EDH deck or some other magic deck in the future, I'll just break it out and for whatever. Um, anyway, guys, um, so what we have here are just some revised stools. This is not the complete list of revised cards that I've purchased. I have also purchased recently revised Birds of Paradise, revised Wheel of Fortune, Copy Artifact, Brain Geyser, and so forth. Those cards are slotted into various EDH decks and so forth, along with the rest of my revised duels. My goal, guys, is I'd like to have four of each. Um, just to have a play set of each. I'm pretty close. I think I'm actually running behind on Savannah and Badlands um, and Volcanic Islands. But for the most part, I think I have or I'm pretty close to a play set of each. Um, so once the, once I'm done with that, my long term plan really is just to hold on to these cards, use them in EDH decks um, and then also just evaluate the market, too. Um, I mean, if these prices, if all of a sudden Rise Duel is double in price, I don't think they're, they're going to. I think they're going to continue to, to trend upwards. But if they were to double in price, then, yeah, I would probably consider selling potentially maybe one or two to, to move the money elsewhere and so forth or invest elsewhere. But it's such a – I mean, it's just so cool that you can own – a card from like early nine, like the early nineties, and it's still seeing play, and there's still such high demand today. And you got to think, guys, just with how like how prominent, uh, just like how how popular EDH has come, right? I mean, how popular the commander essentially is. I wouldn't. I don't want to upset people who play modern, but I mean, I would think right now, just from what I see, like. And following other YouTube YouTubers and so forth. I mean, obviously you have YouTubers who are more focus on standard, um, some with mod with 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 modern or pioneer in mind. But there's a lot of really 
great content online from a commander perspective. And I think that's the direction that the, the game is going to trend more towards commander. We've seen it with commander legends and even like with some of the recent sets, even in standard, there are cards that work well in EDH. So it's like they're, they're designing these cards to fit perfectly in the commander fully well knowing that's, that seems to be the direction that most players would like the game to head to that four player, that multiplayer fun game that we know as EDH. Um, and that being said, I mean, these cards are all legal in EDH and they're, I mean, granted, they don't make your deck that much better. I mean, there are cheaper alternatives, um, but it's, it's cool. I mean, if you like investing in magic, you like playing EDH, you like playing legacy and so forth, older formats where you can use these cards. Well, then, um, maybe something that you may be interested in looking at and investing in. Um, but enough with the revised duels. I'd like to talk about this revised starter, guys. Um, so I did recently pick this up, guys. There are still, amazingly, there are still uh, some of these available online. Um, I did pay a pretty hefty price um, for this. Um, but, I mean, it was nice to see that the seal was intact. And for the most part, I mean, it passed the shake test. There's nothing, there's nothing loose inside. So I pretty sure this is real i'm pretty confident it's real and talking with a few um a few friends and also just a, a few uh, sending some uh, reading reading up in some forums too i believe this is legit at least i hope it's legit um but, uh, but yes yeah, it's nothing that i plan on just keeping sealed for yeah for however long and maybe at some point guys if i were to get like i don't know maybe ten thousand subscribers or something crazy i would crack it but i think for now i'm just gonna like with like like with what I do with a lot of my sealed product investing, just throw it in my closet or in my safe and just forget about it, you know. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, if anyone is interested, just a reminder, guys. I mean, obviously Black Friday coming up here in the states. I mean, I plan on making a bunch of purchases on TCG Player and some other online sites. Um, I will. I plan on adding to my position in terms of reserve list cards um so that that's revised duels um or other cards from that are on the reserve lists um i may be looking at picking up like a mox uh, like a second mox diamond but that potentially a second guy is cradle um so that's something i mean if you're interested guys if you're looking to making a purchase definitely black friday is a great time just because all the great deals and so forth um in terms of just my plan, guys, moving forward again, just sharing um, what, like, just my take on like what I like what I plan on doing um, from a net magic investing perspective. Um, once I get my play set of four duels um, in, uh, in in revised, um, and uh, guys, I also, I mean, maybe just to go on a little tangent here, I do also purchase a lot of the new product like the cards that are in standard and like the modern horizons. And you guys have seen, I'm sure I've done, a, I mean, a, like five or six collector boxes from modern horizons too, and so forth. And so I do uh, obviously invest in a lot of the newer cards, but at the same time, like I, 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 I been trying to shift more of my focus towards the older cards. I do still think that you can make money investing in the newer product, but at the same time, um, I think the reserve list, especially before, um, before, uh, I don't want to talk about this too much, but before inflation gets out of control in the United States, um, which I think we're, we're trending in that direction. Um, I would like to at least be able to own some power. Um, so that is, that's something I've been working towards, uh, potentially down, uh, down shifting my investing, um, well, after I get my four revised, place at a four revised duels, focusing more so on picking up like one of each power. Um, I do right now, I do actually, uh, and we'll do another video on this. I do own one piece of power. Um, granted, it's not a real card. It's a collector's edition card, um, but just it definitely still has its place in Magic's history. And I'll definitely do a video on that in the future. Um, but yeah, that's my plan, guys. Um, these are, you guys just wanted to share um, my... Uh, some recent purchases that I made over the past six months in the area of reserve list and specifically revised. Um, and like I said, guys, I think there's a lot, still a lot room for this stuff to grow with just how, with, with the state of the economy right now and also just like the state of the magic and how magic is more popular than ever. More people are, are finding out about EDH. I mean, look at freaking, look at, we got Post Malone playing magic, you know? Like, so, I mean, and, and I'm sure like it just the more, 
popular the game gets, the more the better it bodes for for those of us who are investing in some of these older cards cuz people are going to be able to pay, pay they'll pay the premium to be able to play with these cards, you know. So that's my take guys. Like I said, more videos like this to come. Um and I'm definitely excited moving into next year. Probably it's going to take me a, a year or two to to uh collect um the full a full set of power or at least a partial set of power. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Just sort of sharing some of these revised duels, sharing this this sealed revised edition starter, guys. Um, some beautiful cards here. I mean, some of them obviously have had some play. If we look at this this 5-5, five, five, look at the bottom there. It looks like someone took a bite out of that. But um, it's still got some beautiful, you got a beautiful underground sea right here, guys. Absolutely gem mint badlands right here, guys. The no marks at all. Gorgeous card. Uh, but yeah, this is something that just, it gets me going, guys. I'm sure it gets some of, some of you else going, just being able to see, like, I don't know, your collection um, and the time that you put into investing into your collection and also being able to play with the cards. I mean, I think that's why Magic is such a special game. You can um, you can sort of tackle, you can check off two check boxes from an investing perspective and also be able to enjoy the great game that is Magic the Gathering. But that being said, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. And as always, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we will catch you soon for the next MTG content-related video. All right, take care, everyone.